you guys what's up welcome back to another video if you are new here my name is teal garcia and on this channel we talk about everything related to photography so if that's something you're interested in please hit that subscribe button and hang out with me more often so right now we are in the middle of our move it's been a little while since i've seen your faces all the videos you've seen probably for the last month were pre-recorded because <laughs> we have been on this move right now we're in arizona uh, visiting my father-in-law so see you were all nice and cramped in one bedroom for about another week and a half we went to california first saw family there um, i did a session while i was there too which is what we're gonna actually work on today uh, we went to vegas because my mother-in-law decided she wanted to get married in vegas while we were in town so we did that and then we came to arizona so like i said we're here for about another week and a half and then we are finally off to texas um, i did some photos while we were in California in Dana Point, which is right just south of Laguna Beach, gorgeous down there. So I did a shoot there and I'm working on them today and I actually need to do a face swap on a few photos. So I figured I'd walk you through how I do a really quick face swap. I feel like people get intimidated by face swaps, but they're really super simple, short and sweet super super easy and honestly if you do a good face swap nobody even knows you did it i'm gonna show you how i do that again it's photoshop even if you're not super technical with photoshop i will make sure that i explain it nicely all right let's get started so i have the photos pulled up in photoshop i have done no editing to them have done, you don't want to do anything to the photos before you do a face swap you want to just use blank straight out of camera shots and then you can go back and edit later and I'll show you how to do that. So for this one, this is the photo that I like. I like how mom and dad are looking at me, but baby boy here was making faces at me and just being adorable. Um, and I didn't get a photo I liked of mom and dad and a photo of him smiling at me together. So this is the photo that I've chosen. I wish mom was looking at me in this photo and then it would have been perfect, but we're going to take baby's head here from this photo and put it on this photo and I'm going to show you and it's super duper easy. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to the photo that we're taking the head off of. So it's very important when you do a head swap that you choose photos that were taken around the same time, around like the same lighting. You don't want to take anything like a photo from right here to a photo and use a photo from the end of a session. You really don't want to do that. You want to get them as close as possible to make them, it makes them just blend a little bit better. So we're gonna take this photo and the tool that I'm gonna use is this little lasso tool up here, quick selection tool. I'm gonna click that and then there's different options up here, but I'm gonna make sure that I use the plus and I'm gonna zoom in nice and close and I'm just going to get a selection of his head. You don't have to do it super duper close like all that honestly doesn't matter, but if you do, see like this, but if you do, you can go up here to the little minus, and this is going to take away what you already did. Take away some of the selection. We can just kind of wrap it up a little bit better there. Okay, that's good. I think that will work perfectly. Okay, so now from here, what I would do is I would hit, I'm working on a PC, but I believe Mac is the same. You would just use, con, you would use command instead of control. So I'm going control X and that's going to cut. And then control V, go over to the other photo that you're wanting to put the face on and it'll be control V. And there you have it. He is right there. So now we're going to go up and make sure we have uh, the little move tool selected and we're going to move him around. We're gonna move him so you can use your mouse or you can use your little arrow keys. And then what I find helps is to take the opacity down a little bit because then you can see where he was. And kind of, um, I think it's important to line up ears. Oops, as I say that. Let's see, line up the ears as much as you can. And just slowly, so his collar, I think, is going to be the thing that we have to pay attention to the most. But as you see right here, his collar is starting to kind of match up. Move him over a little bit. All right, his collar's matched up. Collar 
looks good. Obviously, there's some stuff over mom's face here, but I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. So here we go. He has a whole new head. Look at that. So now what you're going to do, you're going to go down here to this, and you're going to add a layer mask to the layer of his head. Okay, and if you don't know about layer masks, I did a whole video on layer masks. I will link it below or up top. Learn your layer masks, learn how to use those, and Photoshop's become, Photoshop becomes just 12 times easier. Okay, so I've made a layer mask. It's a white mask. White is on. We're going to make sure our black is selected down here, and we're going to go to the paintbrush, and we're going to start painting off. You can start at a lower opacity, just because some of it, like this rock and stuff, we're just going to kind of blend. Like, you don't have to, like, make harsh lines or anything. See, you just kind of blend it. You don't have to worry about like his hairline or anything. Down here, we're going to do the same thing. You can turn up the opacity a little bit for that. And you definitely want to make sure that you don't bring back anything that you don't want to. So just like go about it slowly. That's why I like the layer mask too, instead of just some people will just erase. And I like the layer mask too, because then if I get a little too crazy with something, I can go back in with a white brush and bring back what I did. So let's see, we'll make sure, yeah, make sure all that is off of her. His ear is going to be a little bit of a struggle, but we will get that. It's just all, a, it's just patience, but like a head swap without talking my way through it, like I can master that pretty quickly. I can see it's coming through a little bit, his other face. <laughs> so what we would do for that is we'd go back to the move tool and we would just kind of adjust things. Maybe, there we go. Have to be, you just have to be very um, slow and tedious about it. So I moved him around a little bit more. Go back to my brush. Get a little get a little closer to him. You just have to be super duper careful. That's all. That looks honestly, that looks really, really good. I am gonna go in and just do a few little more touch-ups. You can flatten the image or you don't have to. You can add a layer, another layer on top, and that's gonna kind of edit all the other layers underneath. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to the clone stamp tool. And I'm going to make sure this is, it says sample, and it says sample all layers. So I'm sampling everything below it. So for, like, his collar right here, I can select something out here. And just kind of, like, round out his collar a little bit. Just because where I couldn't get his collar, his face was facing another direction in the other photo. So it's just kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to get it perfect all the time. I want to like blend in a little bit. I don't like what that's doing. Take it down a little bit. Just get rid of all the, but yeah, it doesn't have to take long. I did a test run of this. So I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I did a test run of this and it went a little easier than this is going. I feel like I lined it up better, but whatever, this is what's happening now. And I'm just kind of trying to get rid of any remnants that that was not his original face. I think we got it. I don't think you would know. Maybe a little bit over here. And for that clone stamp tool, you hold down Alt, and that stamps where you want it to stamp, and then you go from there. Such a good tool. I guess I could do a whole video on that tool. Let me know if you want me to do a whole video on just that tool. And I totally will. Okay. All right, I think that looks really good. So now, at this point, I would flatten the layer. So layer, flatten image. And what we would do is we would go file, and I would hit save in Photoshop. I'm not going to go save as. I'm not going to save a copy. I'm going to save. So there you go. Now it's back in Photoshop, and now I can just edit it however I would edit it. And I have some settings saved, so I'll just paste those on here. Closure a hair, cool it down just a hair. Yeah, 
yeah, it looks really good. All right, that's it. I'll, I will post the final photo at the end so you can see it before and after. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please do so, and I will see you next time. Bye.